Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video, it's our final episode on our Decorate With Me for Christmas 2022 series. So far, I've shown you how to decorate a beautiful bowl garland, the one above a mirror, my main tree for my living room, which you guys really seem to love. After that, we did a beautiful wreath that was jam-packed with ornaments on the top for my window here in the dining room. And after that, I share with you how I decorate the Christmas tree here in the dining room. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk to you all about tablescapes, how to set a table, how to set your server, and it's going to be very fun, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the end result on the table. It's just absolutely spectacular. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video because that really helps the channel. And then also, if you haven't checked out those episodes, they're going to be linked down below along with my social media and my Etsy shop if you want to catch up with it previous episodes. Are you guys ready to see how I set a beautiful Christmas tablescape? Let's get started. I could not be more excited to share with you guys how I decorate my dining room for my Christmas home tour. But before I decorate any space, what I like to do is I like to give my furniture a little bit of a clean because it's been gathering dust daily and I just wanted to have that extra shine on my furniture. So I just go ahead and clean my table. I like to use this you can get this at Walmart or any other store. So I'm just gonna put it right here on the side. So now that I have given a fresh wipe to my furniture and it's all clean, I'm gonna start by placing my chargers. These chargers were given to me a few years ago. Uh, they are from Target, but they are beautiful because they are all sequined. In this case, I'm going to set the table for four because I feel like if you set a table for, well, it depends on how many people are really coming over, but since this is just for the home tour, I'm gonna set it for four. If you set it for more than four, and then it's just going to be super crowded and your centerpieces and such are not going to uh, show as much. This is a smaller table, so I'm trying not to crowd it as much. So I'm gonna place those, and then I'm gonna place this right here that I used last year on our home tour. Who has seen last year's home tour? If you haven't, let me show you a real quick clip of what the dining room looked like decorated for Christmas last year. Setting a beautiful tablescape, it's one of my favorite things, not only for the holidays, for any occasion, because you get together with your guests and family, and you really have a chance to wow them with your presentation. So I'm having a lot of fun setting this table, and I hope that you are as well. All right, well, let's finish this tablescape, and I'll give you a quick look of what this looks like all put together. Keep watching. Okay, so now that you've seen what it looked like last year, so you know that we use these chargers. So now I'm gonna do a double stack of chargers and I'm gonna place that on the top. They are made out of crystals and I think this came from Target as well a few years ago. And I just like to collect things like this and I like to put them away because you just never know when you're going to need them. So, so far we have two uh, charges, a beautiful gold one with sequins and beads, and one of them is stuck on my finger and it had some glue. I'm gonna put it right here. I'll take care of it later. Oh, there's two actually. And then, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my dishes. And for that, I selected a blue and white pattern that I purchased quite a few years ago. It is a beautiful Chinese pattern in blue and white. It's called Canton Blue and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to have a little bit of blue and white here in the dining room because you guys know that blue and white is all throughout my house. And you will see that on the home tour. It is in the living room, it is in the kitchen, it is everywhere. So that way you have a cohesive look throughout your place. And if you have an accent color, I really just recommend that you put it all throughout your home in little accents. So that way you can uh, have a beautifully cohesive home. So now that I have my blue and white pattern, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna break it down with a little salad plate that has a gold rim on it. 
and these are super affordable you can find some of these in your local antique stores thrift stores you can find them right now at Hobby Lobby and Walmart because they are more like a holiday um, plate because it has that gold rim all throughout and around it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down that pattern and I will show you in the close-up what it does it just hides that um, detail and then it shows just the pattern on the outside and look how beautiful that looks and it just looks so so nice all right so that's gonna be our salad plate then I'm going to add some really beautiful stemware and for this because the room has a lot of red um, if you guys can see right here on our Christmas tree which by the way if you have not seen how we put together this Christmas tree I'm also gonna link it down below and there's a wreath right beside me and there's other elements you guys will see on my home tour coming up very soon by the way if you don't have the notification below turn it on because you will not want to miss this year's home tour for Christmas so just to tie it all together once again I'm going to use a red beautiful goblet and then i have one with a gold rim that goes well with a plate with a gold rim and i just absolutely love it all right so i'm gonna put those two right there and you know what you can always buy these items like i'm gonna be honest with you guys this came from a local thrift store i like to collect stemware that have uh, different colors because you never know what you're going to put together and your room just looks put together when you use this type of things right here so i'm gonna put my stemware like this i'm gonna have to readjust because i'm working backwards right here and i'm gonna put the last one on my table i always like to use the wine right here and then we'll do the water goblet right next to it all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place all of my flatware and for this occasion i selected this beautiful gold flatware i've had this for quite a few years it was a gift from a co-worker um, I wonder how Carol is doing. Carol, if you're watching, thank you. I'm still using the silverware that you gave us. So we've had it for quite a few years. And when you use your silverware and your flatware, I really recommend to go ahead and give it a clean because you want it to be as sparkly as possible, especially these ones that don't get used as much. And then also want to give you a really quick tip when you place your silverware on your table. Remember the knife and spoon have five letters like the word right so you have to put the uh, knife and the spoon on the right and fork has only four letters like the word left so you put those on your left on your place setting all right let me see if i can do this backwards right here i think the knife goes right here and the spoon goes right here and then our fork will go over to this side over here and then we'll have a spoon then also make sure that the knife the uh, sharp part of the knife always goes inside because it just looks like you, you wouldn't hurt anyone that way okay so so far that's good but we're going to really make this a statement is going to be our napkins remember that we have a lot of plaids this year my theme is plaid because i think it's very traditional for christmas so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a napkin like this make sure that you iron them they're pretty pressed and I'm going to lift up my white dish and then I'm going to put the napkin and look what that does. It just brings the patterns all together, the Christmas plaid, the blue and white and the white. And it just looks absolutely beautiful on your table. It looks very Ralph Lauren-esque, which if you guys know me, you know that Ralph Lauren is one of my favorite designers in the world, not only for clothing, but for home decor and accents. He, whoever his team is or whoever the creative designer Ralph Lauren is, is just absolutely brilliant. And it is one of my most, um, how would I say this? Jameson Hell. By the way, thumbs up for Jameson on the camera today. It is one of the people that inspire me the most. When, yeah, he's one of my favorites, one of my favorite designers. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place that napkin right there. We'll adjust in a second. And look how our table starting to look like Christmas because of all of the reds and all of the golds. But I'm gonna get the centerpiece ready. This is going to be a showstopper, keep watching. Are you guys enjoying this video? I really hope you are. I wanna take a second to invite you to come and join me on my Instagram for daily Insta stories, behind the scenes, and all of the things that you don't get to see here on my YouTube channel. The link to all of my social medias are down below, along with my Etsy shop in case you want to check it out. All right, let's get back to the video. A 
As many of you know, I love to decorate with crystal and silver and I have so many pieces that are um, stored away and they're got just gathering tarnish. As you guys can see, this is really tarnish because it's being stored away and it's just inevitable that you're gonna get some of that dust and that's what creates the tarnish. I have this beautiful tray that is going to go on my coffee table and so I'm gonna show you how I clean them. So this is what this is looking like. It's not looking good. So the very first step you need to do is to wash everything really thoroughly. I'm also gonna use this beautiful container to put ice and um, it's gonna be like an ice bucket. And then also I got these beautiful tumblers that I'm gonna use. So first I'm gonna wash everything. I also have this beautiful tray where my ice bucket and the containers are going to go. And then I have this beautiful rest and these clamps that is going to be like my ice bucket clamps to get the ice, like ice tongs. So I'm gonna wash all of this and I'll give you the next step. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the very first step is to add a layer or a coat of this paste. Look, you guys, how filthy this is. But you wanna add a layer of it, and then especially right here in the grooves and corners, because that's where most of the dust really gathers. So uh, what I've done is, uh, as you guys can see, it kinda becomes glossy. You let it rest for about, I wanna say five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna give it a really good wrap down with a white cloth, which I have over here. We're gonna rub it with a cloth to remove some of this. And then after we do that, we're gonna give it a wash with a Dove detergent. And then after that, we give it another dry and I'll show you what this looks like. It's going to be so beautiful. Look at the difference. I wanna point out that for this step, which is the polishing, I do like to use a white cloth because you need to know when it's dirty enough. If you continue to clean with the dirty part, it's gonna continue to dirty your tray or your silver piece. So you have to know when to let go of that part and continue to polish with a clean part. If you do it with a dark cloth, you never know where that's going to be dirty. So you're just gonna be like smudging the dirt all over back into your tray. So to have a beautifully clean tray like this one or even this one right here, that's all you have to do. Okay, so I wanna talk to you about the silver. You guys just saw how I clean my silver. I usually store these little guys on Ziploc bags and these are heirlooms from Jameson's family. I think his uncle and aunt, I don't remember what their name was. Do you remember who gave you this? Uh, somebody in your family gave you this and with a little rest and all those things that your uncle or was it? I don't know who. It was maybe Tony and Linda. I don't know who gave this to us, but somebody in Jameson's family gave it to us. And so we keep it very clean all the time. And as you guys can see, it's super clean. This year, I want to really press upon you to go ahead and take all of your heirlooms out and use them with your family and friends and create memories. Because if they're just gathering dust because you're so afraid they're going to break or if they're going to be damaged, you know what? I'd rather create the memory of a plate breaking than just having that plate stored away and put away because that's what they're for, especially if they belong to somebody special in your family. Every time that we use them, we just know that somebody in Jamison's family gave them to us and we appreciate them even more. All right, so now for our centerpiece, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep it very simple and I have also this um, table, or this tablescape, this uh, candle, candlesticks. You guys, my words are failing me. And I just make sure that I tie them really good. And I have two of them that I'm gonna put right next to each other. And I want them to be really close to each other because the closer they are, the more drama they're going to create. And at this point, you might have to readjust all of your plates and all of your cups to make room for it. But that's all there's going to be for a centerpiece like this. And then I'm going to bring this guy right here as well. And I'm gonna put it like this. So they're intertwined together and I'll adjust just to make sure they're, they're on the center. Then what you want to do is you wanna grab some of this moss. Oh, let me actually get my candles ready because I have some beautiful taper candles that I got at Hobby Lobby and these are the 20 inch candle tapers. You guys also saw this kind, well, another ones last year on our home tour and I just, whenever I go to Hobby Lobby, I make sure that I grab a few because I really do like to use these tapers um, on my decorating because they create a lot of height and a lot of drama as you guys will see in a second But what you do is you bring a little bit of this green moss And what you do is you insert that moss right here Then you put, you put your candle stick or your candle taper inside of it and this will do two things 
will hold the candle in place and then when your wax burns, it'll burn into the moss and then you can just pitch that moss. If you don't put that moss in there, uh, it's going to burn into your candlestick and then to clean it, well, it's not as easy as one might think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab yet another one. I'm going to make a little hole right here. I'm going to insert my candle right there and see how it just like it tightens the grip on your candlestick and look what it does also it creates a little bit of interest on your candelabra and it just looks a little bit more finished than if you were just to put I'll show you the candle right here it's going to wobble look how it is like you're not because the hole is not you need a, a bigger candle and I don't have a bigger candle so what I do is I just grab a little bit of moss I put a little hole in it and look at this it just tightens your candle it places it in place and it looks absolutely beautiful. So these are the little details, you guys, that when it comes down to Christmas decorating, it really makes a difference. All right, so this is our last step. I'm going to finish the other one. I'm gonna clean the table and I will give you a beautiful close-up of this tablescape. Keep watching. All right, everyone, so I'm always telling you to get all of your heirlooms out and display them and use them with your family members, especially during the holidays. And this is not the exception. So I'm going to share with you how I decorate the server right here in our dining room to make it look very beautiful, elegant and festive. So the first thing I did is I laid down my tray. Remember, this is a tray that we just cleaned a lot of elbow grease. And what I like to do is I like to put a little cloth on the bottom because that just breaks down some of the silver and then also it kind of highlights what you're going to put on top of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my ice bucket. This is gonna be our ice bucket. And I got this beautiful guy at a local antique store. Isn't this gorgeous? It was like $15. I had to clean it. It was really dusty, like somebody had just put it on the grass or something. But how absolutely beautiful that is. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring some tumblers in. And I love these ones because they have the gold rim around it. They look super elegant. These also were from a local antique store. I think I got a set of eight. I was so excited when I saw them because I love the little detail on it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna stack them up like that. And then because this is kind of like our cocktail station, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my ice tongs. And this is the other thing that I was telling you, Jameson's family, we decided who it was. It was Linda and Tony Law, the, his uncles. They belong to his grandparents. So he gave us, a, or she actually gave us a little bag with a whole bunch of heirlooms from his family. The soul shakers, these knife rest and other things that we have uh, along. So I'm gonna do is place this guy right here and I'm going to adjust everything back a little bit because I want to have a little floral detail on it. So what I'm gonna do is push them back like that. And then I have this other cute little silver container where I just added a single stem rose with some of these greeneries and look what this does. It just adds that greenery and festiveness to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab this cake stand because I want to rise it from the top of my server and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this ice bucket that believe it or not you guys this came from Goodwill when I found this at Goodwill it was tarnished black and it took me about four hours to clean it but look what like I was telling you elbow grease can do this guy was only $25 and I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to have family and friends over so they can um that we can use it, put some ice in it. And so for the holidays, what I like to do is I like to grab some of these stands. I'm gonna put them right here. And this one has berries and greenery and it goes along with our arrangement right here. By the way, uh, if you guys wanna see how I made this beautiful tall arrangement with branches, leave me a comment down below because I did not record it. But if you wanna see how I did it, I will be more than glad to. So what you need to do is flap all of these berries right here and I'm going to introduce them into this container and like I was telling you, it's all about these little details when you are entertaining for the holidays. I promise you, if you do something like this, people will just say, wow, and ask you, where do you get your ideas from? Because it is just something that you don't get to see very often. And that's what the holidays is for me. Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving to me is about doing all of those little details and things that you don't get to do throughout the year because, well, because it is that time of the year. All right, so you do something wild like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my wine bottle and for this occasion, I'm not the sommelier, Jameson is, but you have to have something where you're, uh, well, for, for me it's decorative, but I know that if you are serving wine, uh, you would have to have something. I think they wear it on there. On there uh, I'll show you. I've seen Jameson do it where they have a towel like this.
because when they twist the bottle, like they have to wipe that, I don't know really. But what I do is I put my bottle in into all of this greenery, like that. And you could use this, like if you have eyes, you wanna keep it chill, that's fine. If you put your stems on them, just make sure that they are stems that you're not paying a lot from. And then what I like to do is I fold it, I give it a little twist, I grab the neck of my bottle, and then I do a knot like this. And so now I have a very festive uh, display for my guests to serve themselves some drinks. What do you think? Do you see how easy it is to make a statement on your table this holiday season? Not only on your table, but you also have your server that you have an opportunity to wow your guests and to do something absolutely spectacular for them to enjoy the holiday season with you. I had so much fun sharing all of this Decorate With Me series this year for Christmas 2022, and I hope that you enjoyed it all the way from the garland above the mirror to the beautiful server that we just said, the coffee table, the beautiful Christmas trees, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the home tour coming very, very soon. I really hope that you'll tune in for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, you can watch more videos right now. Until next time, bye.